pentadesinoic acid, or C15, is a saturated fatty acid with a 15 carbon chain, found in small amounts in certain foods, especially dairy products. Lately, it's been catching a lot of media and industry buzz for its supposed health benefits. For instance, a 2023 Washington Post article reported that scientists were studying C15 because they believed it might boost immune function and improve heart health. Some enthusiasts have even gone so far as to suggest it is anti-aging effects. Supplement companies have jumped on the hype. One startup, Serafina Therapeutics, sells a capsule containing purified C15, called Fatty 15. Their press release boldly declares that C15 is, quote, the first essential fatty acid discovered in nearly a hundred years. But here's the reality check. To date, science recognizes only two fatty acids as essential for human health. Alpha-linoleic acid, an omega-3, and linoleic acid, an omega-6, both of which have 18 carbon chains. C15 is not on that list. Serafina also claims that a lack of C15 can lead to something they call, quote, cellular fragility syndrome. But this isn't a medically recognized condition. In fact, it's a term you'll only encounter in the marketing materials of the very company selling the supplement. By the way, I review a lot of supplements here, so subscribe and hit the bell to stay updated. And support me on Coffee if you enjoy the content. Marketing claims around C15 are often sweeping and dramatic. For example, an expensive Amazon listing boasts that C15 can, quote, strengthen cells by 80%, and improve mitochondrial function by 45%, promising three times more cellular benefit compared to fish oil. Honestly, I have no idea where they're pulling these numbers from. A lot of the excitement behind C15 traces back to Stephanie K. Venn Watson, a veterinarian who became interested in the compound while researching ways to improve the long-term health of bottlenose dolphins. And while I'm sure her work has been valuable for dolphins, it's worth noting that her research primarily focuses on bottlenose dolphins not humans. It's also important to point out that Stephanie is the co-founder and CEO of Serafina Therapeutics, the company selling C15 supplements, which raises some concerns about potential bias. So what does human research actually tell us about C15? So far, solid clinical evidence in humans is thin. Only a few small randomized control trials have been done, alongside some observational studies. In one trial, healthy overweight adults were given C15 daily for 12 weeks. The result? Some minor changes in liver enzymes, but no noticeable effects on weight, cholesterol, or blood sugar. Another study looked at overweight women with fatty liver disease following a weight loss diet, with or without taking C15. In this case, adding C15 did lead to slight improvements in cholesterol levels, but still did not have any additional effects on weight or blood sugar. So while C15 supplements might offer small metabolic benefits for people with fatty liver, they're unlikely to make a significant difference for otherwise healthy individuals. What about the big claim that C15 extends life or promotes longevity? Let's look at the observational data. A Swedish study found that people with higher blood levels of C15 had a lower incidence of cardiovascular disease, but importantly, their overall death rates were the same as those with lower C15 levels. Another observational study similarly found no difference in mortality between people with high and low C15 levels. In short, the idea that C15 is some kind of longevity molecule does not seem to be true at all. So far, the most optimistic evidence suggests that C15 might play a modest role in supporting metabolic health for certain groups, but it's far from the life-extending, age-reversing nutrient some marketers claim it to be. C15 is often marketed as being superior to the omega-3 oils found in fish oil. But here's the reality. There are no human clinical trials directly comparing C15 to fish oils. And when you look at all the human research, fish oils like EPA and DHA have a far stronger track record of proven health benefits than C15. 
Take cholesterol, for example. While the two small human trials on C15 have shown only mixed, modest effects on cholesterol, fish oil has consistently been linked with these benefits. A meta-analysis of 90 randomized controlled trials covering over 70,000 participants consistently showed that fish oils can help improve lipid or cholesterol levels. For fatty liver disease, this story is similar. Only one of the small studies on C15 found minor improvements for people with fatty liver. In contrast, multiple clinical trials have consistently shown that fish oil reduces liver enzymes and liver fat when compared to control groups. Even when it comes to the tricky question of life extension, a notoriously difficult area to study, C15 hasn't shown a connection with reduced death rates. Fish oil, on the other hand, has far more convincing evidence. Large population studies have found that regular fish oil use is linked to a modest reduction in mortality among patients with heart failure. Epidemiological research about neoplasms has shown that people with the highest fish or fish oil intake have a lower risk of death compared to those with the lowest intake. And in adults with kidney disease, observational studies have found that higher dietary omega-3 intake is linked to a reduced risk of death. Honestly, I could go on for hours about the sheer mountain of evidence backing fish oil and omega-3s over C15. But the bottom line is this. For every health claim made about C15, whether it's metabolic health, liver health, or longevity, the current body of research strongly suggests that fish oils and omega-3s are far more beneficial. That said, we still might be missing the bigger picture. Yes, higher blood levels of C15 are sometimes associated with better metabolic health, but this is because higher C15 levels reflect a healthier overall diet, not because C15 itself is some kind of miracle compound. In fact, higher C15 levels are indicative of a diet that contains more full-fat dairy foods like milk, cheese, and yogurt and diets rich in these foods are already well known to support metabolic health. Eating more dairy with a Mediterranean style diet has been shown to further reduce cardiovascular risk factors. Consumption of more dairy has also been linked to a lower risk of developing fatty liver. And higher intake of fermented dairy foods like yogurt has been associated with a reduced risk of death from certain neoplasms. So the overall evidence suggests that you'll get far more health benefits by simply including more full fat dairy, especially fermented dairy, in your diet than by taking C15 supplements alone. Trying to improve your health by relying on isolated C15 supplements is like trying to build a house using only nails, without the wood, beams, foundation, or skilled craftsmanship that holds everything together. Sure, nails are important, but they only work as a part of a complete structure. In the same way, C15 is just one small piece of the nutritional puzzle found in full-fat dairy products. Dairy gives you not just C15, but also valuable proteins, calcium, vitamin K, and often probiotics. It's this combination of these nutrients working together that delivers real health benefits, not the actions of one isolated molecule. So instead of spending big money on a fancy supplement that offers just one sliver of the bigger picture, the smarter, more cost-effective, and evidence-backed approach is to simply include more full-fat dairy in your daily eating habits. And unless you happen to be a bottlenose dolphin, I'd be skeptical that taking C15 supplements alone will do much of anything for your health. Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Young. Do you think it's worth it? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to the channel and leave me a like. Hit the notification bell if you want to stay up to date and share this video with some you know can use the info.